Bergen line again. Absolutely, Chris, if someone sends me a scenario. Excellent, here we go. Right, I'm going to turn my main audio down because I can't hear myself think. Should not affect you guys. That's better. You need a hot chocolate, not a tea. No. Right, for some reason the doors don't open on this station. I'll show you the route map in just a minute. Let me just get more important tea-related matters resolved. <sighs> the Toby IX had, uh, has got a magnetic clasp on it and it wouldn't let me have my my um, my teaspoon. Anyway, the Toby IX has been re-educated. Right, here you go. This is Sheffield. So this is Sheffield. You'd recognise Sheffield from the Woodhead line, although I think this is a a rebuild of um, the uh, of Sheffield. Uh, and it heads north. Um, the line that we're following will then head west and follow along here. And then at uh, Barnsley, we take this left turn and come round here, which takes us to. Dodworth, uh, and eventually round here somewhere, Penniston. So that's where Penniston goes to, and then we go all the way along here to Huddersfield. So Sheffield to Huddersfield. So I thought it was quite, I thought it was quite quite a decent state, and uh, frame rate wise, I'm currently getting about 90 to 100 frames a second, which is amazing how much of an impact. Why did you? Who asked you to stop? Uh, it's amazing the impact that the um, that our streaming is having. I was getting near just shy of 200 frames per second on this route um, when I was testing it earlier on. <laughs> so it's a it's pretty easy on the uh, uh, on the frames. All right, we'll remember to turn that one. I didn't turn that one last time, and we ended up going all sorts of strange places. Oops. We're dying here because of that. Okay. Right. Rail driver. Oh, my software blew itself to pieces as well when I reset the game. Never mind. Uh, I'm just going to use this for the time being. So the goal here is just to have a look at this route. I've set up a little scenario that involves stopping at the stations. I may just decide to not bother stopping at the stations at some point along the journey because it's 80 minutes, 80 minutes, which is a fair old trek, and uh, we'll see how we get on with it. Looks like track IR blew itself to pieces as well. Oh no, that's on. F that's frozen. No, it's not working. Nice. Well, this is uh, this is excellent. We need a Leeds. Re I'd like. I'd like to see Manchester to Leeds. new toy. <laughs> What's that darkness? Duffers, no, I'm not using any sound packs as always. Mug? Yeah, mug. I don't know which mug this is. Oh, this is my Star Federation planets I got from one of the Star Trek conventions. Oh, you mean this fridge? Yeah, the insurance um, paid up for the uh, theft of my uh, tablet, and I got myself a new tablet. It's beautiful. The 
it actually is the best thing since sliced bread. Right. Change that one, and that one, and that one. Lots of points that need setting on this one to make it work the way you want it to, unfortunately. That doesn't yet. Yeah, yeah, I don't use anything that isn't on Steam. French style in the house got broken into, um, and uh, three tablets and my wife's laptop were stolen, amongst a, a couple of other less important things. Where's the route go from and to, Francois? It goes from uh, Sheffield in the east to um, Huddersfield in the west. I've got uh, a Surface 3, a Microsoft Surface 3. It's basically the same price as the replacement tablet that they w they'd suggested. So and This is gorgeous. It runs full Windows. None of this half-baked applications. I can run train sim on this thing. Not very well, but I can run train sim on it. That is a green light, okay. Suddenly remembered there was a red light there. Right, Meadow Hall is our first stop. When did that happen? It was um, the week before Christmas. It appears there was a rash of them in the neighbourhood and uh, um, yeah, we suspect that the uh, the local uh, idiots were out on their Christmas party. Morgan2101, thanks for the follow, much appreciated. Yeah, the Surface Pro 4 looks very nice, but I couldn't afford that. That's a lot of money. <laughs> this Surface 3 looks really good, or it is really good. I just got the pen for it. I got the Surface 4 pen for it because it works well on it. Over. Oh no, looks like we net worth this one. Now nah, that's not a net worth. A net worth is actually flying through a station without even attempting to stop. But never mind, we've missed that one. Moving on. <coughs> Cheers, Amarillan. bothered about not stopping at stations. I did tell you at the beginning that uh, um, I might not stop at stations. That's my excuse for why I didn't stop at that Alright, back up to 70. Right, let's just check the uh, the route. We need to just keep an eye on the route because all these points that need to keep reset. Uh, keep set. I'm obviously not running the route the way that the author does. I'm still playing on lower settings, yes, Cop Plop or Mal. If they're going to make scenarios with uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff, then. Uh, I need to. I don't know quite why on my machine everything is. Um, I don't because I can't run scenarios that other people can. I'm going to skip all the stations on this route just so that we can run through the route without it taking all night
Uh, Fringe Darling actually read a story one time where a couple found a burglar in the house because one of them told a joke and they had a laugh upstairs. Very good. Hey Kevrev. Uh, what happens when this machine goes back to work? I should be getting the laptop back on Thursday. The normal machine that I stream with. We should be back to normality. Chapel Town. Nah, we'll stop. Is the laptop not as good? The laptop isn't quite as good as this machine, but it's not much in it, to be honest. It's still a 970. It's still a Core i7 4th Gen. And, if anything, it's slightly better because it's got SSDs, whereas this has only got hybrids. Yeah, that's not good, Fringe, encountering a burglar. One of the stories we heard uh, in this area was um, some woman uh, woke up and there was a uh, burglar in her room. Normality, does that exist on this stream? It does exist. Uh, normality certainly exists. Normality is just not the same as everybody else's normality. <laughs> it's normally insane. I'm very good, thank you, BNSF. So if I say I'm not going to stop at a station, and I do. Was that an anti nebworth Oh, nice, Francois. Squirrel hoodie. Superb. Big network southeast. <laughs> Looks like an old disused station here. Um, what was it we ran yesterday? It was an SD70 Ace we ran yesterday. One point eight miles to Else Car. ECML, no, you don't have to uninstall TrainSim. You can install TrainSim on as many machines as you like. You just can only use it on one at a time.
getting 150 frames per second at the moment. Donna Pass yesterday and again today. Yeah, we are doing Donna Pass again today, aren't we? Oh, we did the cab forward on Donna Pass, didn't we? Yes. Forgot about that. Chromecast and flat TV, yeah, absolutely. I've watched a couple of streams through the Chromecast. It's very good. Uh, the Wabash Norfolk Southern Heritage Unit, yeah, I should have that. Find me a scenario on Steam Workshop BNSF, or get someone else to find a scenario, and uh, I'll happily run it. Not today, because I've got planned out for today, but I can add it to the list. Good effort this route, isn't it? Where are we? We're up there, so we're going to come around here. Just under two miles to the next station. What route is this train from, Twarog? Settle Carlisle. This is the Northern 158 from Settle and Carlisle. Sixty limit coming up. Top Twerk 10 workshop scenarios, all American by a Faber and Josh Harkness. I think part of the problem there is that there are so many English scenarios that require reskins, and it makes it just very difficult for people. Um, whereas almost every American scenario runs straight out the box. I think it's something. Certainly, when I, would, I was looking for scenarios um, a while back, it was um, getting an American scenario was easy, getting a British scenario was tricky. And finding a German scenario was impossible. <laughs> All right, coming into Wormwell.
Yeah, it's a little bit sparse on detail. Um, the track is a bit... Um, it's used an old track, um, and uh, some of the junctions aren't rendering correctly, but it's fine. When you consider how much effort making a route is, a route... I mean, this is not a short route. Um, it's uh, a pretty... it's a very, very good effort indeed. This one's by... Um, who's it by? Uh, fern tree. Headlights as well. Switch torque converter. AX shooter. To get over to this area, we we'll set the switches so we can. Uh, four and a half miles to Barnsley. Oh, is that over here? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm keeping the camera fairly low. If you put the camera out, you can see it's a pretty much a thin corridor of scenery. Um, but, to be honest, that's where the time sink of making a route is in, is developing it back out from the track. You can, it makes it uh, take significantly longer, so... I think for a one-man project, this is probably an appropriate way of doing it if you want to get any... Um, uh, any kind of length of your route. Yeah, has everyone seen the Gap Week 73 um, on um, Dovetail Facebook? Looks good. Speeding. Thanks for the host, couple of Mel. Two and a half miles. Thanks for the host, ex shooter. Francois, what did I say? Disappointing. No, I'm not disappointed with this at all. Uh, French style, you're talking to the wrong person, I'm afraid. Shoot, do you like my hair? It's good, isn't it? <sighs> Takes me ages to get it ready in the morning. But with the appropriate product and um, combs and things, it's uh, it's manageable, just about. Oh, only the best shampoo, even Stevens. Only the best. I 
don't think you could imagine me with hair. No, no one can. And when they see pictures of me, they're very, very frightened by it. Because it looks really wrong. I used to have a big mop of hair. Long time ago, it all fell out when I was in university. Almost overnight. Uh, Shrutely, I can't talk about uh, unannounced projects or uh, whether they are or they aren't in progress, I'm afraid. <laughs> Here's wash and go, you did and it did. <laughs> Right, lads, we're at Bansley. If train stops. Come on, train. Stop moving. Right. Time to check junctions, make sure we're going right direction. Thirty-five and then twenty as we go around the junction. I've just finished a cup of tea, French styling. Thank you very much. Trouble at mill, aye, uh, Moggy. Trouble at mill. Hopefully not. Now Xbox controller's been chucked in draw. Inside the train, Dave's Burgers. There you go. Whoops, 20 limit, twit. If you're wondering why there's a lot of bushes sticking out, it's because um, the author has used 2D trees, which when you plant them, they look like that. But then when you drive past them, they look like that. It's one of the reasons I don't like 2D trees next to the track. Other than the fact that they, they look bad. Up to fifty. Yeah, that's all they're intended for, X shooter. They're meant for distant use. That is the entire reason for them. They're not meant to be used up close. The 2D trees up close aren't too bad, you can kind of get away with it if you mix them with 3D trees as well, So it's because that allows you to get a bit of variety. E buy gum, see Rogers. Buy gum? What gum's that then, lad? Right. Dodworth. Two miles. Yeah, he does, OMG. Cheers, darkness. Oh, absolutely, cop proper mail. But what you would norm, what I would certainly suggest, is that you'd in the middle of it, you'd put through 2D trees, and then in the bits where 
the train and the cameras likely to be are put around the borders you put a few 3D trees but certainly the majority of a forest you want as being 2D trees absolutely Shoot D why don't I show cab view because when I show cab view everyone says why don't you show the exterior One point, oh, there we go, 25 limit coming up here. Moggy, why don't you show the exterior? <laughs> Solve everyone, there you go, is that better? <laughs> 25 limit. wipe a test <laughs> right just coming up to Dobworth uh, once we stop at the station Stargate I will bring the map view up assuming I remember Tomcats plays. What's that thing with the screens above the rail driver? So behind the rail driver, I've got a unit that I, um, my, my dad built, um, and this has got um, flight sim panels on it and gauges, which I've got not at this very second, but they're hooked up to the uh, to train sim and showing train sim stuff on them. But they're not at the minute because the game crashed and they didn't restart the software. So when we do the next scenario, I'll start it back up again. How do I get the pop? I've got the. Um, it's a launch parameter that you set, which sets the. Um, you do set, set FOV equals, and I've got it set to 80, which steps the camera back. You can kind of put the camera back where it normally is by sort of just using the mouse wheel. I don't know what DLC this requires, Tomcats. Right, we're almost round, we've got a whistle all the way over to Huddersfield now. Off to Huddersfield. Probably about halfway there, actually. Cheers, C. Rogers. Kind of get the software to always launch with the game. I could probably do something clever that would sort that out, but I'm not that far along yet. I could have the software launch um, the game for a start. Is there much point for the next scenario? No, there isn't actually for the K1, you're right. I'll leave it off for the K1. That would be utterly pointless. Do I use the rail driver much? Normally I do, Twirog, but... Uh, I haven't really had the time to uh, look at my software and um, iron out the boogs in it. I used to use it all the time, but the last little while, just because of uh, moving machines around, everything's got a little bit uh, unstable, and I need to just once I get the laptop back, I'll settle it all back down again, and uh, and we'll be good. Uh, oh, there is a passenger view on this. 
Silkstone Common. Yeah, fern tree egg seek, that's the route. Kevra, brake supply periodically without warning. Is it not DSD or something? Will I ever get the laptop back? Yeah, on Thursday, OMG trains. All the stuff it was doing is now finished. So, I'll get that back as soon as I go back to work. So Thursday night I should be streaming with the uh, with the laptop. And then over the weekend I'll get everything else straightened up again. So that from Monday onwards we'll be, uh, we'll be cool. Hey Steven Jam. How are we doing? That's six stone common. Sort of homeward bound after we make this right turn over here. I think this is two platforms, um, external HDD. I think there's another platform, uh, it's like a platform one, platform two thing, I think. Don't ask me why. Penistone 2.8 which is that one after we make the turn do I prefer the laptop OMG? Um, it's more just that it's a stable thing um, I mean if I was keeping the desktop home then I'd um, sort of stabilise everything on the desktop but on a single line I've so no I might be thinking of a different route actually but yeah I have seen them do that on a single line Minecart, welcome. Chalakai, you've just joined on Twitter. Awesome. God, getting on for 500 people on Twitter now.
It's Steve. Yesterday you had egg custards, mine cart. Well, I tell you what, over the Christmas break, my mum made me one of her special egg custard tarts and pff, beats everything else hands down. Kevrev, no, I decided not to do an afternoon stream today. Um, I went out for a, uh, a ride instead. Um, and there'll be a video on uh, on YouTube about that ride. Um, hopefully tomorrow. If I can get all the way through all of the video uh, editing and uh, rendering for it. We'll be doing an afternoon stream tomorrow. No, but I will be. Um, we got down the mine shaft 7:30. Will I do an afternoon stream tomorrow? I don't know. Let me figure that out. I want to get video editing and so forth done tomorrow. So, and if I stream, I can't get on with other, those other jobs. So, uh, um, possibly not. But if I can, I know I will. Uh, shoot D, how can you host a stream? Um, you should be able to just type slash host space um, Matt Peddleston um, in your chat and I think that should do it. Yeah, Nick, the, uh, the, the FOV options, they don't widen the camera out essentially. It's a field of view. Not, it's not moved your seat at all. It's moved the camera so that effectively the, everything is sort of shrunk a little, like zooming out essentially. Um, I've got the default is something like 60-65, and I've got it set to 80, um, which has sort of moved the camera so that it's sort of a bit bigger. What is down the mine shaft? So that's my Minecraft stream. Thanks for the host, Stephen Jam. So every week on a Wednesday, um, I host a, a Minecraft stream. Uh, there is a, mine, a mine, uh, Minecraft server, which you're welcome to join if you've got Minecraft. And um, Moggy's the patron saint of it. He, you know, he loves it. Um, OMG trains to use Movie Studio 13 to edit. Yes, I do. Right, got 15 limit coming out of Pennerstone. Um, external, I've just pasted it on the. Uh ah, no. Ah, no. Another junction set wrong. Oh no, set right. That would have been that would have been a shortened, uh, a much shortened journey had we not done that. Okay. Kevrev, uh, 
Yeah, my kids play Minecraft an awful lot, and uh, my daughter wanted me to play Minecraft for uh, with her, so that's sort of where it all started, really. So I, I I got into Minecraft, and I think it's actually fabulous. It really is one of the best games I've ever seen, um, because it's an open world, it's creative, and you can do what you like with it. Survival mode is what we play. Uh, Katie, no, you don't need a, mine, a mod pack for down the mine shaft. I've specifically kept it. So while we have loads of mods on the server, the clients don't need mods, so you don't need that anyone can join very easily. Red is the holy water. I think Moggy is secretly afraid that if he hears too much about it, he might be too curious and want to have a go. <laughs> uh, Stephen Jem, uh, you'll have to ask Dark if he finished that off when you see him. I'm, I'm still, I think, oh no, he's waiting for me, in which case, no. <laughs> Denby Dale, 1.9 miles. Where are we? We are there. There's Denby Dale. So not too far now to get to Huddersfield. Year 26 and still no sign of Huddersfield in the Big Brother house. What we got? Oh no, Denby Dale is just coming up. We've got a 30 limit, so we'll slow down for that in a moment. I went to have a look at um, Boston New Haven and I'm not going to stream that one just yet because um, I just can't find enough enough route that I can stream that isn't going to then end up with it's islands of scenery at the moment very very good scenery but it's islands of scenery so um, I think I'm going to wait until he's got a bit further with it it's got a lot of potential though I'm really looking forward to it uh, him progressing with it. I appreciate it's work in progress Amtrak. Cheers, X shooter. Oh, I appreciate it would be a long time for the whole route of scenery, but uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it and wait until there is a, a good section. Um, that we can show and then we can start showing more and more of it as it goes. Boston looks very nice. Just 
trees take my mind off Matt's driving. Thanks, Moggy. So about Minecraft then. Shepley Platform 2. Two miles to Shipley. Oh, you can see he's putting so much effort into WWT, and I have watched one of your, one or two of his streams on um, YouTube as well. It's um, yeah, it's uh, he's clearly putting a lot of effort into it, and he's, and he's doing a really good job, um, really, really good job. When I went to the Boston, went to Boston. We went to the Science Museum. That was good fun. What we got? Shepley stocks more rock holes. Honley. Right, coming in now. External HTD, yeah, I've already run the one house model railway route. It's my dad's model railway. <laughs> we already ran it once, but we should be running it again. Phil's doing another update to the route at the moment, I think, and uh, I should definitely be running it. I can write some scenarios to upload to Steam Workshop for it as well.
Stocksmoor, which is just around the corner, or just down the line a little bit. A DJSB. Yeah, it was last week we ran the uh, One Hours Model Railway uh, route. Really enjoyed it, it's such a good route. Have I managed to cut the camera train video from the OMR stream yet? It should be uploaded to the OMR YouTube by now. There should be two of them, the old one and the one that I took um, on the uh, Sunday, on the, on the second day. Saturday was when I did that. Yeah, it should be on the One Else Model Railway um, YouTube page. If not, let me know and I'll go and... Sh um, jump on hitbox and find out why. <laughs> uh, kind of almost. What poles? three stations and then we'll get to Huddersfield. Yep, nearly there now. Did I script LZB? No, I didn't script the LZB. Uh, Gavity, I'm going to be running the uh, the One Else Model Railway again, and the video for it should be up tomorrow for the um, for the last time I ran it on the stream. It was going to be today, uh, going out today. I just didn't get a chance to do it. Yeah, it's quite a lengthy route, isn't it, Kevra? It's quite an impressive one, really, can you consider it's one person doing it? Do we have a 009 section on the One House Model Railway? Um, no, but I think we have a couple of 009 trains, <laughs> although they won't go through the tunnels. Myself moving at the moment. Come on, out of tunnel. Come out of tunnel. Ah, the camera train video did get to YouTube. Excellent.
Uh, DJ SB, no, manual point does hold. That is the fundamental difference between manual and automatic points. Automatic points, the dispatcher manages. Automatic points, um, the player must manage. Right, we're coming up on Brockles. My own model railway in 2016 now, because there's not there's nothing to my model railway yet. There's nothing to model, but it was, I was I am seriously considering doing a uh, a Cyril freezer plan or something and uh, using that as an example for doing some stuff. Okay, fringe. Have a good, have a good uh, work uh, time at work. <laughs> PJT's marked OMR as final. I know he was going to, so maybe he's has um, uploaded the final update and uh, made it final then. In which case, I could start making scenarios for it. Woohoo! Oh, I've got an N gauge thing behind me, but it's just a loop of track. Uh, WUT, by all means, oh, yeah, raise a ticket if you've got feedback for Dovetail, then definitely that's the way to do it. Oh, he said he did it by mistake. Ah, okay. Um, I'll have to do that. Um, I'm one of the few people with administrative privileges. Right. I need to uh, make a note so I can go and unmark the finality of that. Uh, of that, what's it? DJSP, I'll show you the 2D map in a minute. Once I get stuck at, uh, stopped at Honley. Uh, PTG went back to university, so he's uh, busy. I think Mole Man was talking about um, getting a job or something, and um, he's uh, so I, I'm guessing he's uh, he's got real life giving him more than enough on his plate. Steve's still here most nights, though. Uh, PTG's already back at school even, Stevens. September is when the school starts here. Oh, hello. Uh, looks like someone's lowered the ends of the platforms on this one and that's made the people disappear underneath. Uh, the people on the front car didn't want to get off anyway.
Very bell. Oh, 2D map, yeah. There you go. So we started at um, Sheffield, went round here, Peniston's there, and then this is Huddersfield here. Where we're we heading now. You want to see people underneath the platform. Who needs real life when there are trains? Absolutely, Exeek. Absolutely. So we got Berry Brow, Lockwood, and Huddersfield. Won't do the whole route as it's too long. I didn't I didn't say we wouldn't do the whole route. I already set out that we'd do the whole thing. Not much further now, GWR. Oh, for Ed. Oh, I've done it again. Oh, what I said was I'd never worth the stations, yeah. <laughs> okay, doors don't open on that one. Let's just get on with it. <laughs> it's because you, know, you were the last one that spoke when I started speaking, and then a minute later, I went to double check who 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 uh, who had said that, and uh, GWR was the last person that had spoke. <laughs> You know what, we're near the end, I'm just going to skip through Lockwood. Bye bye, Lockwood. <laughs> Huddersfield, one mile. Wow, it's 
quite detailed around here. Right. Let's make sure we got a route in. Yep. Oh, hang on, we're supposed to be going to there. That one. That gets us where we're meant to be going. Yeah, networks have to be accidental. That was completely intentional. Because everyone's saying they're bored, so I thought I'd just move on and move on, get on to the next scenario. That can't open the doors there either. A couple of uh, markers not quite in the right places on platforms, but overall, this is uh, Huddersfield. Clearly, an awful lot of work gone into this route. Right, that's that then. Um, slightly lacking in canopy. Yeah. Well, bearing in mind he's only got access to the assets that are in the uh, uh, that are available. All right, moving on then. Changing route, and the next one is it's the Victory Works one. I think this is the one where we go. It's uh, Fail City, I think, for me. Everyone, that's uh, everyone's uh, quietly laughing in the background. Um, let me have to 